what we have here is we've got an Arduino bunch of LEDs not all of them are connected uh, right here we have an XRF unit which is like an XB but much cheaper it's plugged into the Arduino basically RX from this goes to TX of that TX of that goes to RX of this so, uh, vice versa anyway so that's all connected up the USB is just for power uh, I'm not using the com that COM port, that's COM port 3. Uh, and then over here, we have a Cisco, or however it's pronounced, URF, USB dongle. So basically, you just plug this into your PC, and it talks directly to that XRF unit. Basically no configuration required out of the box. And what was nice is I'm running Windows 8 Beta and uh, the URF didn't need any drivers either. So this is up as COM4. Then right here we have Visual Basic um, 2010. And from looking at a few videos I've made uh, a form which has a couple of buttons. Here is the send data that you're going to send. This is received data, it's set up, the Arduino will uh, send back all the information it's received when you send a D. It's, you know, I just did a D because I could, it was for no other reason. Send obviously sends the information through and connect, connects it, uh, connects the PC to the Arduino. So if I, I'll close it down. This is running in the background. Open up so the program's open. Click connect and hopefully we are. I've got no way of knowing because I've not written anything in. I know nothing about Visual Basic. So if I send uh, what I've got here is as I said not all of these are connected but there's a few of them which are. These are all set to be off unless you send its uh, number so basically one two three four five six i think but the one isn't actually attached at all so if you send that number here to the arduino it turns on the corresponding led but just for a second so if i go in here i'll do two as you can see uh click send uh click send again and it comes on. So, okay, then. No, I know three doesn't actually work. Four. I can't really do both at the same time, but there you go. So, I'm going to do once more. There we go. So, I've sent a couple of numbers. Now, if I send a D. I get the numbers that I've put through to the Arduino in a string. I'm not sure if it's wiping the string. I think it does have a physical limit that I set to six characters, but I don't. I, I'm unsure. Let's send another one. Cause there's six characters there. Uh, bloody touch screen. Useless. So let's send a four. Send it again, uh, and then let's do a D. So four D. So it is. It's wiping the uh, character string after six letters have entered. So that's a basic setup. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get the joystick to send commands out through a Visual Basic application to the Arduino to control the walker uh, using the drill motors here which I haven't yet installed because the frame isn't big enough for them. Uh, I can't explain the code because I don't understand it myself but in the form load you've got uh, serial port ones, board rate, data bits, parity, stop bits, and which comet is, and then 
uh, button 2 is the connect button and so all it does is it tries to open the serial port if it can't then it displays this message out and then it ends the try and obviously that repeats uh, and then on the send button we use try again this just stops nasty errors which tend to actually uh, completely crash the program where you have to go to task manager and close it and just by adding this you, it doesn't worry about it too much so obviously you've got the serial port you've specified up here you're writing the data and you're taking what's in the send data box send data uh, and writing it to the port uh, this I believe is to make sure that everything uh, nothing gets nothing tries to happen over the top of anything else so it just delays the thread from continuing uh, and it looks at the received data text and sends oh it just reads what's in the received data uh, and as I said this is a try so you catch the error and then if there's an error it says that which is identical to the other I added the timer but that's for the job